I'm very sorry that Wade took ill because he's written a wonderful book on the British Marxists and uh, the national question. I think he would have had something to say and contribute. So it's it's very unfortunate he had to leave. Um, I want to. Uh, I'll just I'll close with one anecdote, which is that um, when I was in Brazil uh, a bit more than a year ago and talking at Uberlandia, uh, it, there was a conference there on Thompson, um, which was an amazingly uh, sort of vibrant conference. And I had talked a bit about some of these questions of the 18th century and questions in common that Nick raised. And uh, from the back of the room, uh, stood up uh, an older man and said, well, he said, we've never, I've never read E.P. Thompson, but clearly he is one of us. <laughs> and this was uh, a leader of uh, a land occupation outside of, uh, um, uh, outside of Uberlandia that had taken over uh, uh, hundreds of acres of university-owned land that had been devoted to, supposedly to agricultural research, but nothing was done about it. The, uh, uh, from uh, 20 families that took over that land, they had, it had grown to 2,000. And this is a commonplace in Brazil, as our you know, colleagues from Brazil will know. And we then went to uh, Mike Merrill and I and Dennis Dworkin were then invited out to, we had been speakers at this conference, to go to this occupation. Mm -hmm. And it was phenomenal. And we talked to these people through translators. And uh, again, uh, this too is part of a recept. It's the ideas of Thompson, the customary uh, um, usages, the, the, the rights and entitlements of people. And these people were, in fact, felt when they, when they talked to us and, and kind of experienced Thompson through us, which is not adequate, but, you know, their perception was, well, he speaks to us now. This is what we're doing. And that is part, I think, too, of the resilience and the, and the resonance of Thompson in Brazil and elsewhere, which is, I think, what, in, in a big part of what Marcelo was talking about, about the global reception. And, you know, it wasn't the case that the ideas of the making of the English working class uh, failed in England and then were won in Africa and Asia. They also then lost in Africa, you could say, in, in many ways. But they haven't lost forever. And there are always those parts of the globe. This is the warm Marxism, mm -hmm. I guess. There was anyway, there is a warm lunch uh, <laughs> for all of you. I want to thank